All right, guys, what is up? Well, guess what? Today's episode is one that's never before been seen on YouTube. It's the one where we took the 42 frame and went offshore in the Keys. We had a ball, we caught a lot of fish, and we're, that's what the episode is now that you guys are gonna get to see. So uh, do me a huge favor, if you like the video, be sure to drop a comment down below, like the video, and if you have time, share the video out. That really helps a lot. Uh, but before we get into that, I wanna do one huge shout out. Okay, this is shout out time to one of our sponsors, Starbright. Starbright is a company that makes cleaners for everything you can imagine, right? Boats, trucks, golf carts, automobiles, uh, it doesn't even matter. They make a cleaning product for just about everything. And uh, they've been a big supporter of us. And they're the, one of the big reasons we're able to go out here on the road and do what we do. So with their support, it's been awesome. So I just wanted to share with you a couple of the products that I use on a pretty much a daily basis here uh, around my house. One is Vinyl Guard and Vinyl Clean. I use the Vinyl Clean and the Vinyl Guard on my bass boat, on the wrap, because it's Vinyl Wrap, and on my seats. This keeps it really good and clean, keeps it looking good for, uh, for when we're on the road. The other one is the Extreme Protectant. The Extreme Protectant is great. I use it on all my other parts and it puts a UV coating on the part so the sun doesn't bake it, doesn't crack it, doesn't deteriorate. Especially down here in Florida, the sun's harsh. This right here is really, really good stuff. Now on my saltwater boat, like my bay boat, and on the big boat, I use salt off. I use a ton of this stuff, guys. I put it in this little applicator, I spray it down or I put it in a bucket, mix it in a little water and we, we sud everything down good. This salt off will basically remove all those salt deposits. That's one of the biggest uh, killers on a saltwater boat is obviously the salt. It gets trapped in corners, it rusts your screws, puts a lot of deterioration on your boat. So salt off is a product that you just absolutely should be using if you're on a saltwater boat or if you've had your boat around saltwater. And the other one is the hull cleaner formula. If I leave my boat in the water down the Keys for a little bit, the bay boat, pull it out on the trailer, I might have a little discoloration, this hull cleaner works great. But guys, they've got tons of other products. They've got magic sponge right here to get the scuff marks off. I mean, I'm not kidding you, literally everything you can imagine at Starbright. So go check them out if you don't mind. We'll drop a link in the description, starbright.com. Great company, great products. And uh, let's get in the video because I know that's why you're really here. So thanks, guys. We appreciate it. We'll see you soon. This is so windy. We're going to blow off the dock. What is up? What is up? Well, this is what the show's all about, the Scott Martin Challenge. And we have definitely picked a challenge today. I've been checking the weather for the whole week, and the weather will not break. 20 to 25 mile an hour winds for this show. I'm not even sure we're gonna be able to get out there. This is what we call a challenge. You know it's bad when you open your phone up and you check weather.com and you're like, okay, let's check what the weather is. And it's just wind symbol. Yeah. That's it. Like, <laughs> it just, the whole thing, wind symbol. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. But that's why it's the Scott Martin challenge. Like, I didn't wanna come down here. Like, we, either, we could easily come down here on like a real nice, pretty, flat day. I just went out there, just enjoyed it. And that's easy, right? Everybody can do that. Yeah. But SMC is all about trying to get out there like 12 foot waves. <laughs> that's a, it, it, it should be a challenge. Right? It should be a little epic, yeah. We all know sometimes that's when the best fishing happens, right? I know. Yeah. Hey, well, we won't be the only ones out there at least. Well, the three main components of this challenge are gonna be, you know, we got lots of wind, big waves, the bait's been really tough. Um, so it, it's definitely gonna be a challenge just to get out there and even have a chance to uh, capture one of these fish. Sure. Everybody asks me, like, what is 76 for me? And it's like, that's how many sailfish that we caught and released on yeah. film in one day. <laughs> like, people, like, people are like, so what? Crazy. And yeah. then when I tell them we were only four from the world record, they're like, huh? I mean, dude. And then you got 218 or something that you caught in the course of... Yeah, 216 over four days of fishing over a period of a couple of weeks. So, you know, I was a little spread out. I wasn't out there every day. Yeah. You caught... Wasn't four consecutive days. It was... You hold some record. I don't know what it is, but it's a record. I'm just going to say you're the record holder. All I know is that that day was so crazy, Jake. Oh, dude. It, it was epic. And it was, a day, it was a day that I'll never forget, man. It's a day that I'll never forget. Yes, yes, yes. He got it. He got it. Oh, Good. 
Having an opportunity at something special, like breaking the all-time Atlantic sailfish record, I mean, it, 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 it's something that we thought about, but it wasn't like, it wasn't reality to me until, uh, really until about halfway through the day, we started adding up our catches and it was 30 fish and 40 fish and 50 fish. And then all of a sudden we break the record. I mean, what a moment, what? A moment. Nice job, Captain Levy! Woo! Captain Levy! Woo! Hey! Fire! How about that, boys? Catching that many fish in one day, it takes a team. It takes the right team. I call this team the A team. With all of us on the boat doing our jobs, staying focused, we were able to pull this off. Not only the team, but our equipment, the rods, and most importantly, the boat. Having that boat being able to maneuver, you know, that really put us at a big advantage, being able to cast in all different directions and chase these fish down. What an unbelievable day. And, and I cannot wait to attempt it again this year. All right, so we're gonna go inside, grab a few things. Here's a great part about having the boat right here at Bass Pro Shops, Worldwide Sportsman. They've got everything you need for fishing. This is literally gonna be one of the biggest challenges that I've ever set forth on. Trying to catch a sailfish in these conditions, it's gonna be tough. Man, how we doing? What do you think? I think we got a little bit of a break in the weather. Hopefully it holds up. But, yeah, uh, morning. Yeah, we'll go give it a shot. I think we're gonna be all right, I hope. Well, it's not blowing as hard, I'll say that. It's still blowing. Yeah. It's still gonna be a challenge for sure. No, it's gonna be rough. There's gonna be that residual too. It doesn't yeah. just, but yeah, I mean, it's still blowing 21 knots, something like that. Okay, that's so. yeah. Guys, we do rent our property. This is uh, what we call Martin Family Fish Camp. It's right here on the bay side. And um, we've got two houses there, plenty of property, a nice dock, Tiki Bar, the whole nine yards. And it's right here, like Bass Pro's right around the corner. We keep the boat at Bass Pro, uh, you know, during the week. But when we're in town, we bring it over here to the house. I mean, look at that. You don't get any better than that, guys. Right here on the bay, you come around the little protected lagoon, and then we have this right here. So it's getting rough right now. It's uh, we're just barely getting outside on the front. It doesn't look all that bad, but it's it's getting there, guys. It's gonna be a choppy one today. Really a choppy one. But that's the beauty of this boat. It doesn't do this. It does this like every boat would, but it doesn't do this. One big change that's gonna happen on this boat soon is the brand new Yamaha. 300s with the XTO frame. These engines are advanced. They're reliable, they're strong. Cannot wait to get these on there. We're also gonna be putting on the brand new Yamaha Helmmaster 2 steering and control on this boat. It's gonna be awesome for docking and putting the 42 foot frame in, in those tight spaces. When we rig this boat out with those brand new Yamahas with the Helmmaster, this boat is gonna be finally complete. Go right through the right through the shoulder. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Go right through the shoulder. Yeah. Hook your hook on your rubber band. Yeah. Pull it through. Go around the tip of your hook. Twist it two or three times. Just like so. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna send it. Go to our middle clip. Clip our middle end. Five fish, two baits off each side. I like kite fishing. I like kites, I like balloons, and I like little bait fish. It's fun, man. I guess, Lee, right, it's just a spread of baits this way. Yep. And a spread of baits this way. Yeah, the kite allows you to just fish a lot more live baits behind the boat than, right. than you would without them. And it also keeps all your terminal tackle out of the water. You know, you're just dangling a live bait yeah. 
And, you know, we hook them in the back, so they're just kind of swimming around in a circle. And so when that fish sees that live bait, all he's really seeing is the bait itself, not, not a bunch of line coming oh, off the front yeah, of the, yeah, the yeah, bait, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're just rigger fishing, bump trolling live bait, right. you got all your line out behind the boat. Yeah. You got, you're fishing two baits out of the riggers and two baits off the flats, but all your line's still, most of your line's still in the water. Yeah. That's the beauty of this. When the fish comes up, if you're fishing your bait right, he's not going to get wrapped up because there's nothing to get wrapped up yeah. in. And like you, you know? said, he doesn't see all that leader laid in the water. Exactly. He comes yeah. in at the wrong angle and all that leader's in the water, he's like, oh, something's up. Exactly. Well, I'm hoping we can, I'm hoping we can get it. These conditions are getting windier and windier, but you know, that's, the sailfish kind of like it. We're the only, we're the only boat out here today. And uh, if we can get one, guys, I'm telling you, that is the goal for today. Hold it on your finger right there. Belly, oh, he's all over it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. He's eating it. Let it go. Let it go. All right, you're on, Scott. One he's cast. On. He's jumping. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay. easy, easy, up, easy, baby. Easy, easy. easy. Yeah. Bow to him. Bow to him. Back off. Back off. Bow to him a little bit. We're hooked up. Sight fishing him, baby. My God, dude, he's going fast, man. Woo! Please. All right. Lady Jamie. <laughs> Did we Jamie. call that or what? That's awesome. This thing ran, guys, ran so much line off. This is that brand new 7,000 favorite reel. It just about pulled it. Probably took 300 yards of line out. It's a matter of a few seconds. Beautiful sailfish, guys, right here. Look at this thing. Well, we got Lee and Sam in the boat, dude. Good things happen. Guys, that is my biggest sailfish to date. Now, I have caught quite a few sailfish down here on the vice versa, but that is by far my biggest one. What a fight. We did it. That is exactly what we came for, and we pulled it off. I'm so excited. We did it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful sailfish. Big one, biggest one I've ever caught. Sammy, Lee, thank you. You want me to let him go? Yeah, put your head down. Huh? Put your head down. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Neutral, neutral. You're good. There he goes. Man, if I could give you a hug, my friend, I'd climb up there and give you a big old giant one. He'd like that. Hug. Woo! Lee, my man. Nice job, buddy. We love Jacob. coming out here and catching sailfish with you, and vice versa, Scott. Awesome. No, that's good, dude. That is so good. Jacob, your turn. You're up next, my friend. Hey, Scott. I really wasn't sure about the challenge. I thought maybe we bit off a little more than we could chew, but you know what? We got it done, man. Perseverance. We, we did. It's a good we team did. you got. Not we did. easy condition to come out here and catch these things either, guys. You notice that yeah. you notice if you if you scan the horizon, there ain't another boat. There's in sight. nobody. Out. <laughs> Just the vice versa. That's it. 42 foot of awesomeness right now, floating on this Atlantic Ocean. Now I wasn't sure how this challenge was gonna go, guys. I was sitting here in my mind thinking we might not catch a fish. And you just have to enjoy the footage from the 76 today. But we did it. So now we've we have beat the challenge. We have we have won the SMC for today. Now it is time to get Jacob on one and have some fun. That was awesome. That's a big one, guys. All right, guys, the 42-foot Freeman. This is my baby here. So excited about this boat. 42 feet long, 12 feet wide, tons of room. Here's what I love about this boat. Number one, the ride. I mean, you just cannot beat a Freeman. Number two, the seats in this thing. Two rows, captain seats right here, plenty of room under the hard top, tons of room for everybody to get around, storage galore, and, and very cool. Garmin 8624 is right here. So we have the Garmin radar, we have Garmin uh, radios as well, but these two units right here, I can have great depth finder capabilities, great chart capabilities, can have my kicker stereos all hooked up in sync to my Garmin's, which is awesome. And speaking of the kicker stereo, guys, this boat is outfitted, the best I've ever seen in a, in a boat. Kicker Marine Audio. These guys, they know how to make speakers, they know how to make amps, and we have outfitted this boat with Kicker Marine Audio components, and uh, it, it just sounds amazing. 12-inch woofers, 10-inch speakers in the side. We have overhead six and a halves. We have more speakers than we know what to do with in this boat. 
this boat sounds amazing. We also have four of the Kicker Marine amps and everything's all synced up with the Garmin so we can control the volume throughout this boat. This boat right here, it not only catches fish, but it sounds good doing it. All right, so guys, it is getting rough. We got really fortunate this morning and the, and the weather wasn't bad. We had that little window that we were all kind of praying for and we, we did it, we got one, right? But now we're, we've tried the kites a few times we haven't found another fish yet, but we're still on the hunt. It can still happen, dude. I mean, like, oh, yeah. there's a population of fish that are coming south right now that's migrating from Miami down right now. And if we collide with that big body of fish, it's going to get crazy. It really is going to get crazy. But I'll tell you what's getting crazy is this weather. This is the weather. There's not another boat out here today. We're like the only ones out here. And I want to say a huge shout out to Freeman for making an awesome boat. If you guys are interested in taking out the vice versa, down here in South Florida, in the Keys, be sure to contact us at viceversafishing.com. Captain Sam Malazzo, super awesome captain. He can put you on just about everything from way offshore swordfish to sailfish and everything in between. Oh, right. blue fin. Oh, it's a blue ball. Oh, my God. Blue ball. Big blue ball. Big blue ball. 300-pounder plus, dude. Here, get the film four. going, guys. Get the film going. Get the film going. Here, easy, go easy. easy. Let him run. Let him run. No, yeah, no, no. Don't, go, don't, go, don't go, mess with the drag. Yeah, go easy. No, he didn't say bluefin tuna. This is a blue, a blue marlin, dude. dude. Like I've been fishing that for years. A blue marlin? You've got a blue marlin on. <laughs> I can't even explain it how it feels to have this thing on the end of my line right now. <laughs> All right, keep it tight. Keep it tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a giant. Oh my gosh. Hey, all of a sudden, this blue marlin comes up windshield wiping. I mean, he's throwing water everywhere. And in my head, I'm thinking if Jacob can catch this fish, this is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. If we can capitalize on this catch, it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. We need to clear it so I can get him on the bow. Here, we're going to get smoked when he goes the other way, dude. I'm not going to be able to keep up. Follow me. Yeah. All right, everything's clear. We just got to get the kite. Come right here. Here, go ahead. Here, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come off. I don't know, it just stopped. Oh, no, no. Why, buddy, why? Still got him? I don't know. It just stopped. Here, let me see it, let me see it. He's gone. That was a 400 pounder. Really? Oh my gosh. That was crazy. I mean, I really am not fully understanding the magnitude of what just happened until I saw his face, Sam's face and Lee's face. That says it all, the special moment, dude. Yeah. But you know, if you think about it, look, we saw blue marlin, uh, blue tu bluefin tuna, just a minute ago, we saw bluefin tuna. Yeah. And then a blue marlin, giant one gets on us. That would've been our big, that would've been my biggest blue marlin. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that fish was 400 pounds plus. So. You saw his whole head come out of the water and well, everything? Well, he ate it first. I just saw a giant hole in the water like a bluefin tuna. I thought it was for sure a bluefin tuna ate our kite bait, and then he started windshield wiping, and it was 400 pound plus, for sure. It was wow. a big, big, big blue marlin. Ate our thread fin. The problem is with that 30 pound leader, you know, we're sail fishing, but this time of year, the springtime, you get, there's really anything you can think of that swims, any kind of pelagic fish, migratory fish, cobias, sailfish, white marlin, blue marlin, yellow fin tuna, blue fin tuna, just anything and everything. Wahoos get on this edge. What you have is there's a current change, and you have blue water on one side, and it's, a rep, it's separated by a little right. strip of weed, and then you have green water on the inshore side. And you just get right on that edge, and, and everything kind of gets pushed together, the bait, and uh, you know they just come down that chain. It's like a roadway for yeah, pelagic please. fish, but that's all right. You're doing awesome. great right up to the part okay. where you screwed it up. <laughs> oh, man. That's the part you about fishing. You win some, you lose stuff. some. Yeah. yeah. But we, we, we came and we conquered on the sailfish. We've just, we've been this close on some other really cool stuff. Yeah. So far, yeah. but, you know. Well, if it makes you feel any better, we were 100%, no doubt about it, outmatched. That's not, <laughs> most people don't yeah. go blue marlin fishing on, you know, 15 pound mainline and 25 or 30 pound leader, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that one hurt. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of like somebody you kicked me right in my gut. Yeah. Lisa, Maddie's red. Look at him. <laughs> He's red. Speechless. Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, I think that's the first one I ever hooked in my life. Yep. That really? Is, yep. Yeah. Yep. First one you've ever hooked in your life. 
on the kite. Me too. Oh my gosh. On really? Like that, so yeah. that was that special. And on yeah, not I mean, to mention, it was a monster. Professionally, I've been doing it since, you know, I mean, I was riding along when I was 14. I'm 42 years old, and I've never had that happen out of literally thousands of days doing it. I haven't, yeah. I've never had that happen, but, you know, it happens. It's just, it's rare. It seems like uh, we have a streak going of unmatched tackle today. That was definitely mismatched. 25 pound leader, 400 pound blue marlin. That doesn't equal a good <laughs> result, usually. <laughs> But what an awesome experience. I mean, no kidding. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, every day. It was awesome. Fact, we even got out there in that weather and caught a couple yeah. of yeah, it was rough. I mean, that, that was, that, that was, you know, it, the boat has such a big part of this. Your expertise, your expertise, Lee, has another big part of it. But man, you couldn't get out there. Most, I mean, we're the only boat out there. That goes to show you how bad it was and i'm not sure how how good they could tell by watching this tv show this morning wasn't too bad but it got snotty this afternoon yeah, it definitely picked, picked up, up. It, did. Mm -hmm. it did well it never looks as rough on camera as it actually no. as, as yeah. it does for the eye when you're yeah, out we there. always you know on those really rough days we always take video with our phone and and then you look back at it and you're like man it was i mean yeah. it just doesn't do it justice right no it was snotty the the, the biggest factor is that no one else was out there like oh. zero <laughs> that goes to show you this is like prime time we definitely had it all to ourselves we did yeah <laughs> Well, listen, we came, we conquered, we won the challenge today. Awesome. And, and guys, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching us getting ready for this thing. I hope you really enjoyed 76. That was a special day. And then, of course, watching us go out there and challenge ourselves to a, a sailfish today. So, guys, that is a wrap. Thank you so much for joining us on the Scott Martin Challenge today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few things. And the next time you see me in this boat on TV, we're going to have the brand new. Yamaha 300s and the Hellmaster 2 on this thing. Cannot wait to show you guys that. So stay tuned next week, a whole new challenge on a whole new body of water. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you. Jake, you did awesome, dude. You Thank did, you. you did.